round two. You ready? No. All right, here we go. Get ready. Three, two, one, go. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Let's go. All right. All right. Here we go. Ooh, ooh. Okay. Hang on. Pressure's hang on. on. Hang on. I gotta. Pressure's I gotta. On. Just give me a sec. You want to call it? Oh. 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 <laughs> yeah. I gotta. <laughs> gotta shake it off. <laughs> yeah. Oh. 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 He's still going. Oh, no. Oh. Going <laughs> whoa. <All right>. Whoa. <laughs> How long is okay, this I'm emote? All right. Here we go. Here we go. Three, two, one, go. Rock. Yes. Oh. Yes. <laughs> All right. All right. Let's go. Okay. All right. Ortiz Exoro. This is the new gear set that was introduced in year five, season two, just a few weeks ago. Now, we did cover this uh, quite extensively on the channel during the PTS whenever we first were introduced to this gear set and we started trying it out. I mean, amongst the community, this gear set has been dubbed the Firecrest 2.0. Now, the reason why they call it the Firecrest is because in the first Division game, there was a fire turret gear set called Firecrest. And it did a lot of the things that uh, this new Ortiz Exoro does. Um, but, you know, with a little bit of a flair. But without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into my first of many Ortiz Exoro builds that uh, I want you to try out. So I hope you enjoy. Here we go. What's going on, YouTube? Kamikaze Von Doom here with another Division 2 build video. Now, shout out to the DoD Disciples of Doom. And in today's build video, I'm going to give you an Exoro build uh, that you can use. I mean, I guess you could use it anywhere, but for me personally, I'm just using it in PvE. So sit back, relax, grab that popcorn, don't forget to hit that like. Subscribe if you haven't already, and let me know what you think in the comment section below. But let's go ahead and jump into this bad boy. We will do the build breakdown now, and then we will do the gameplay later. Now we're starting off with the specialization. Now you can see right here, we are using the firewall specialization. Now the reason being is because it extends your burn duration, and when you lose armor, the closest enemy nearby will catch fire, which is pretty cool. Now, we obviously want to use this for that extended burn duration because we are using a burn build. Our weapon is specified just for burning enemies. Our skills are just for burning enemies. Our entire build is surrounded and put together with burn synergy in mind. So we can burn people from our specialization, we can burn people from our weapon, we can burn people from our skills, and if we lose armor, we can burn people from our passive talent from the specialization as well. I mean, that's four different ways of burning your enemy. Now on top of that, we can spread the burn from the Ortiz chess piece that we're running, and we can spread the burn from the Creeping Death backpack talent that we are running as well. Not only that, but we are doing burn damage and we are doing damage over time from the Toxic Delivery debuff that you get from the Vile Mask. So what you see here are multiple ways of burning your target with multiple ways of damaging your target and multiple ways of spreading that status effect. I mean, it's safe to say this is a burn, you know, a, a complete burn build. Uh, one might even say the ultimate burn build. But let's talk about the weapon. So our weapon, our star of the show for this build is going to be the Pyromaniac. Now the Pyromaniac is the named police M4 with the talent Perfectly Ignited. Now Perfectly Ignited deals 25% more weapon damage towards burning enemies. Now we are going to be burning as many of those enemies as possible. I think during the gameplay I burn roughly around 90% of the targets that I kill. Now, after killing three enemies with this weapon, you can immediately apply a burn to your target just by shooting this weapon. Uh, as far as the attributes, we do have damage to targets out of cover on here, 
and the expertise is low. It's only at expertise level 10, so you can get this thing 14% higher, which is quite a bit. However, it is very, very costly um, doing those expertise upgrades. Now, for my other weapons, you can use whatever it is you want. It honestly doesn't matter. It, it truly doesn't. Uh, for my placeholders, I have the Slayer and the Backup Boomstick. These are both, you know, just placeholders. Um, you could use, what is it, the Fire, boop -ba -doop, right here, the Fire Starter. But uh, this would um, make it to where you have to run around with your sidearm and actually shoot the enemy with this weapon. Uh, for me personally, I'm not running around with anything else other than my Pyromaniac. But if you want to, you could whip out the fire starter and do it that way. For me personally, that just doesn't really go with my play style. As far as the build itself, everything's yellow, everything is status effects. Um, if it's not status effects, it's skill damage. But it's pretty much all status effects. The reason being is during the PTS, I tested it live and showed everyone live that the skill damage doesn't really help out your burn too much for this uh, for this uh, gear set. It's the status effects that really helps out because not only does it give you more skill damage, but it does give you more burn duration. So it's pretty damn legit. Um, and you want that burn duration, especially with this build being a burn build, because the longer your target is burning, the more damage your target is taking, and the more damage you can inflict on that target with the Pyromaniac. Now, uh, talking about the build in more detail, let's start off with the new gear set because that's what this video is all about. The new Ortiz Exoro gear set. Now, the back, or not the backpack, the chest piece that I'm running does give us an extra talent. So here at the bottom, you can see it says the chain uh, combustion. Now, this is the where it spreads the burn. So it says enemies set on fire by the uh, incinerator turret will burn all other enemies within two meters. Now this has no cooldown, and um, I am using this to go with the Creeping Death, because the Creeping Death I am using primarily with my Burn Sticky, and then what I do is I'll then throw out the turret, because the turret will spread that burn no matter what. Where the Creeping Death, it does have that 15 second cooldown, so I try to use that only with my Burn Sticky, and then that way, when I throw out my turret, the turret is already spreading that burn uh, just by being there. But going back to the Ortiz gear set, the gear set bonuses we get for this build, we get 20% more burn duration on top of the burn duration that we get from the firewall specialization. You have received an invite to another agent's group. Dude, come on, man. It is nonstop. Nonstop. The next one is skill health, which does help out the turret. It's not too bad. The uh, The next uh, three-piece bonus is going to be your burn damage of 40%. And then the four-piece gives you the talent Ortiz incinerator turret. And this is what actually makes your turret spin that 360. But in my opinion, what's even more important is that you do not burn yourself. And that is huge with these skill builds is that if you accidentally get yourself, you could kill yourself instantly. So by having the four piece, it does make it to where you're immune to the burn turret. Now remember, that does not make you immune to the burn sticky, only the burn turret. So uh, having this is beneficial because you could just throw down the turret whenever you're surrounded by enemies, and then you could just focus on shooting those enemies while they're burning and not have to worry about it burning yourself. Pretty uh, useful. Now, as far as the attributes for this build, it, everything does have a skill tier. We have a six skill tier build, and everything is rolled status effects. So for the mods, we chose skill haste, just so that we can get the, uh, the skills back faster. But as far as uh, this one, the chess piece, skill tier for the core, status effects, and skill haste. For the gloves, we have skill tier for the core and status effects. For the knee pads, skill tier for the core and status effects. And you guessed it, for the holster, skill tier for the core and status effects. For the backpack, we are using the electric backpack. Now the reason being is because the brand set bonus gives us more status effects. 
If you haven't noticed, we're going as hard into the paint with status effects as possible. The reason being is status effects not only increases your damage of your turret, but it also increases your burn damage at the exact same time with your burn duration going up as well. It's basically a uh, end all be all. It's amazing. So for the Ortiz gear set, I highly, highly recommend you go into status effects. It will really help you out. Now, as far as the attributes, we have skill tier for the core, status effects, uh, skill damage, and then skill haste for that mod. Now, creeping death, you could go with a whole bunch of other talents. It truly doesn't matter for me personally. The reason I am using creeping death is to, cre uh, is to steadily spread that burn status because we have the burn status getting spread from the turret, but I wanted it to spread also with the sticky bomb. Now, we're not using Eclipse Protocol, so we're not able to have the status effects, you know, constantly spread on kill like we would with Eclipse. So what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to spread the Sticky Bomb with the Creeping Death and then spread the turret with that Ortiz chess piece. And that leads us to the last piece of the puzzle, the Vile Mask. Now, this is the exotic mask that gives us Toxic Delivery. Now, this increases our damage by quite a bit. Now, the reason being is every time we use a status effect, it will also apply a damage over time debuff. Now, that damage over time debuff will deal 50% of your concussion grenade. So, for example, my concussion grenade is at 1.4 million. So, that means every single time we proc the Vile Mask, the bare minimum baseline is 700,000 damage. However, the very end of this, it says that your status effect attributes will increase this total damage. So that's why we are going even harder into status effects than I normally would, because not only does that help out the burn, but it helps out our vile mask damage over time debuff. So just for this build, the status effects, right? So we have 10 on the mask. We have 20 on the backpack, so now we're at 30, 40, 50, 60, and 70. So we are at 70% status effects total for this build. And it could get higher if you used, you know, that other named weapon where shooting an enemy in the head would grant you more status effects. You could do it that way, but for me personally, I think that this is as hard as status effects as you want without, you know, limiting your own damage uh, because you do want the pyromaniac there for that extra weapon damage. If not, maybe the capacitor or the test subject, but you wouldn't want to try to increase your status effects any more than what it is now because the build is perfect the way it sits. The only thing is, is you want more weapon damage. So Capacitor, Test Subject, and Pyromaniac are going to be your three options there. But all right, let's finish up with, uh, with the skills and then finally the stats. So my Incinerator turret is skill tier 6 and expertise 10. As far as the numbers that everyone wants to see, uh, just normal damage sitting here. We're at 51.9k. For the burn, we're at 201.5k. For PvP, we're at 41.5k. And then for PvP burn, 32.2k. And then for the burn sticky, again, skill tier 6. This one's at expertise level 15. And for the damage numbers just sitting here, we're at uh, uh, just under 1.3 million damage. And then for PvP... 282.5k damage all right now let's finish up with the stats and get you out of here with that gameplay so this is for the pyromaniac we're sitting at 66.3k weapon damage uh 26.5k for pvp we're at uh, 15 crit chance 55 crit damage and 75 headshot with health damage and damage targets at a cover Offensive tab, we're sitting at 20% all weapons and damage bonus and 30% assault rifle damage bonus. So every time we're using the Pyromaniac, we're sitting at 50% damage bonus total. For the gear talents, we are using Creeping Death on the backpack. We do have Chain Combustion on the chest piece and Toxic Delivery on that mask. 
For the defensive tab, we're sitting at 736k armor with just under 346k health. And then the explosive resistance is at 10% with hazard at 20 because we do have some hazard on that vile mask. But the other 10% is due to my watch level. So here is my disclaimer for all my build videos. I am at shade level 5802. That means all these boxes are maxed out 50 of 50. Now, if you are at or above shade level 1000 and you copy and paste my build, you should get the exact same numbers and results. However, if you are below shade level 1000, uh, some of these boxes are not going to be maxed out. Therefore, when you go to copy and paste my build, some of your numbers are going to be lower. Now, don't freak out. It's still a great build to use. However, just from, you know, just note that you'll get the most potential out of your build when you max out all of these attribute boxes. And the only way to max out those attribute boxes is to reach shade level 1000. Again, it's not a requirement. I'm just recommending you do so to get the most bang for your buck. All right, and that is it. Pyromaniac, Status Effects, Ortiz, Exoro with the Vile Mask. We're sitting at, what, 70% status effects and a whole lot of burn. So I hope you enjoy the gameplay. It is a lot of fun. We are doing heroic with multiple directives and the new, and well, the most recent global event being reanimated. But I hope you enjoy. If you found this video helpful or informative in any way, shape, or form, make sure you hit that thumbs up. Support the channel by subscribing. We do division content every single day. And I'll see you in the next one. I hope uh, you enjoy the rest of the video. The gameplay is a lot of fun. Have a great day. Take care of yourself. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace out. Oh, yeah. And roll that footage. Uh, yeah. All right. PVE gameplay. Let's go. So we're going to do Lincoln Memorial on Reanimated. That's the uh, current global event going on with three directives. I'm not going to use the cool skills directive because this is a skill build, but I will be using all of the other ones being, you know, the uh, armor not regening, the special ammo, and then, of course, that fog of war. All right, here we go. Now, if you haven't already, hit that thumbs up. Support the channel by subscribing. We do division content every single day. And let me know what you think in the comment section below. Let's see how this works. that come on bro that name pop his back yo what is going on with this grenader dude there we go okay. oh he's about to turn reanimated oh my gosh yep there it is Find a way to open that gate. Oh man. Ooh. He had a shotgun. Yeesh. Dirty. I forgot there's no armor region, so I have to pop an armor kit. We got this. There's the uh, creeping death. Nice. Alright. And then again.
again, I don't have any armor regen. So I have to pop an armor kit. Alrighty. Let's do this next part, shall we? Death kills all of them. a shoddy. Double burns with the pyromaniac and that vial is a lot of fun. We're getting some really, really high damage numbers. Oh man, and we just hit a 5,800 on the shade level. Oh man. Yo, just witnessed 5,800 on that shade level. Look at that. Another milestone for the old Xbox account. Stay alert. I don't know what you're walking into. I am gonna get the uh, materials. I do need materials. But even still, I mean, this build's a lot of fun. Let me know what you think about the uh, double burn with the pyromaniac. I am gonna do another separate build with the pyro where I kinda do like a hybrid. That way you do a little bit more damage. But this setup is really strong. It's a lot of fun. Highly recommend. And then whenever you find these uh, groups of NPCs that are you know, close together, that burn turret really helps out. It's ridiculous how strong it is. We're about halfway through the mission. Ooh, heartbreaker, nice. 
Okay. That should be good. Hostile sighted. Get right here. Yep, there it goes. Yo, is that an animated guy coming down? What is that? Is that an animated guy? Right here? Yo! That's hilarious. That's funny. That is funny. So that enemy was reanimated and either followed me all the way there or ran away all the way there. Either way, pretty funny. Get some ammo, and here we are. Final stretch. Get all your materials and your drops. They do count up. And there is a faction box over here, don't forget that. True Sons. Alright, last part before the boss. Let's According to do... the schematics Isaac pulled upstairs, we can lock that tunnel door from their control center. That should keep them from being able to transport those borders loaded with DC-62. How did I get put on fire? How did I get put on fire? That's weird. Tried to kill me while I was hitting the computer. Yeah, get out of here. That should keep them from getting more of those mortars. Alright, boss area, we are done. It's a lot of fun though. I'm enjoying it. Here we go, here we go. This probably would not be um, very beneficial in PvP, just because all a person has to do is put on hazard and you're done. I mean, there's really no, <laughs> there's no way uh, around that. They just have to put on some burn resistance and that's all she wrote. Oh my god, they're all alive. This is really bad. Really bad, really bad. Vital science critical. Oh man.
this. Oh, I have no more armor kits. No, we might not have this. That no armor region sucks. Oh, nice. I have another kit. Thank you. Good work. Good work, GG's. That was fun. If you hadn't stopped them, I know they Fire Crest is officially back. Like oh. I can't tell you how relieved I am to have you on GGs. our side. GG's. GG's. Thank you. Today we dealt a great blow to the True Sun's infrastructure. Yeah, let's see how much skill damage we did. A how much burn? Chemical weapons and eliminated a stronghold near the campus. You should be proud. You saved a lot of lives today. Yeah, show us. Come on. Show me the numbers. Show me the numbers. Come on, dude. With all of the pop-ups, just show me the end. Oh my gosh. How long do we have to sit here for this? How many more pop-ups are there? Oh, thank you. Only three hours later. 600 million damage dealt. We killed 141 enemies because of the animated, reanimated. Let's see, uh, skill damage dealt, so over, a th uh, over half of our skill damage. Uh, was our overall damage? Uh, let's see here. Enemies burn. There we go. One twelve. So one twelve out of the one forty one. That's not bad. Headshots fifty. Not bad. All right. Okay. I'm digging it. I'm digging it. Let me know what you think about this uh, new gear set that was introduced in Year Five Season Two called the Ortiz Exoro. And uh, let me know what you think about this uh, this nice little setup I showed you. The pyromaniac with the vial and uh, all that status effects on top of the creeping death. I mean, it's a lot of fun to run. I am Kamikaze Von Doom. I hope you found this video helpful or informative in any way, shape, or form. If you have, make sure you hit that thumbs up. Support the channel by subscribing. And I will see you in the next one. Have a great day. Take care of yourself. Peace.